Wait, so you've never written a letter to Santa? Not even when you were a kid? Well, no. We didn't really do that sort of thing growing up. My, my grandma raised me and she'd always get weird around the holidays. I know what you mean. My mom, she always made sure we knew the reason for the season. I didn't start believing in Santa until after I moved away. No, no, it wasn't that. Uh, she'd always say that Santa was real, but that he was just different from what everyone thought he was. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. But, here. Look. So, apparently, this pen has been in my family for generations. My grandma told me just before she died to always follow these three rules. They were something like never lose it and never destroy it and never use it to ask for anything. Holy shit. You've never tried it? Are you curious? Oh my god. You have to write a letter with this thing right now. I may not believe in all the heebie-jeebie stuff my grandma did, but I don't think <laughs> that's a very good idea. Alright, Scrooge. It's a damn shame she never let you enjoy the holidays. But I intend to do something about that. <laughs> Come on. You're gonna write a letter. You're gonna write a letter to the big guy asking for... More wine. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. One letter. For more wine. Dear Santa, I know I haven't been the best this year, and you're not real, but if you could squeeze your big old cheeks down my chimney and drop off some more wine, that'd be just swell. P.S. Tell Mrs. Claus she's a total babe. Love, Kit. That was great. 9 out of 10. One point off for objectifying Lady Claus. <laughs> now, all you have to do is put it under the tree and let the Christmas magic do its work. through for me. Wait, isn't that your anniversary one? Yep. Not like I know that cheating bastard back in your show. No? Do they know where he is yet? Nope. He took off over a week ago. Um, still nothing. That uh, Detective Cameron, though, said he'd call with uh, any updates. Oh, I'm sorry, Kit. <sighs> You know, he's got my car. I just put new tires on that thing. My cash was in there, my phone was in there, even my favorite hat. Hey, okay, okay, calm down. No, you know what I want for Christmas? His head, right here in my living room. Okay, all right. Hey, okay, okay, look. Hey, the police are gonna find him. It's gonna be all right. What you need right now is some rest some water, and maybe a few of these Christmas cookies to help you soak up some of that wine. Ugh. Fine. Yeah. You happy? 
Okay. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Kit. Your grandmother kept me locked away in that silly quill. But now, thanks to you, I'm free. What are you talking about? What what happened last night? You see, grandma was was naughty, and it is my job to take care of the naughty children. She put a spell on me and bound me to that pet. For the past 99 years, all of the presents from the good kids were from parents. Can you believe that? What do you mean, taking care of? Let me show you. You've been quite naughty yourself. Hello? Oh good, you're up. What happened? I like, I remember talking about my grandma and... Did I like write a letter or something? <laughs> you had plenty to drink last night. I was just checking in on you. Thanks again for loaning me your old phone. Anyways, I'm gonna head up north for a thing. I'll check in on you when I get back. Hey, thanks for the wine. That's my favorite. What wine? I'm pretty sure we drank your house dry last night. The one you left in my fireplace to try to scare me. Nice try, by the way. That wasn't me. I think you're losing it, kid. Quit hiding your booze in weird places. Anyways, gotta run. Love ya. <laughs>
asked for when I was 10 and never got. If this is real, you'll know the one. Dear Santa, I'm terribly lonely. I need a man's touch. Any man will do, so long as he loves me. Even you. So hurry down my chimney tonight. Hugs and kisses. Kit. Detective Cameron, I guess those big arms can fit down the chimney, huh? Sorry, what? Miss Kit, I'm here to discuss your missing husband. We found his car about an hour ago, but your husband was nowhere to be found. The car was destroyed as if something massive was dropped on it. Oh! There were hoof prints all around, so we're guessing there was lots of wildlife around here. Um, Miss Kett, could you put on something more appropriate and come with me to the station, please? Um, of course. Just one, one moment.
you're coming home with me.